should take no more than five minutes to learn this very impressive super visual throwing cocktail technique. Let's do this. You use this technique when you need to add air into your cocktail and you add a lot less uh, water than for example when you use a shake. Basically it's something between shaking and stirring. People love when you do tricks while making cocktails and specifically when you work with liquid. So if there is something impressive and you're making cocktail, it actually makes more sense rather than you would do just like something with an empty shaker or even empty bottle. I think every bartender should not just learn but actually perfect this technique and use it every time when you mix in uh, right drinks especially the technique I will show it to you now. I'm sure you're gonna try this technique right after watching this video. If you will be posting it on Instagram, please tag me. I would love to go see it and leave my comment. If you guys watch this channel for a while, you know that I'm not a big fan of expensive tools. I think it's way more important what you do with them rather than how they look. So uh, to learn this uh, technique, you will need a few items. So you will need a Boston shaker. It will cost only $2. You can use the Cheeto shaker, also cost about $2. You're supposed to use julep strainer, which cost about a dollar or so. Actually, I'm gonna be using my favorite strainer by far. It's called a throw-in strainer. Just uh, it's convenient because it has this little thing. So you can actually place it like this right on top. So it's really really convenient it's the perfect fit into the cheater shaker or into the Boston shaker and this will set you back $8.95 I'm going to leave all the links in the description so find them there Whew! okay let's roll literally so we're just gonna uh, fill it up with ice and then uh, let's say your drink will be here but we'll just practice uh, without liquid place strainer right on top so it should be hanging right like this and then pretend that you have liquid here so you bring it as close as possible and pour it inside and then you start pouring and then not too slow but kind of like not too fast you try to um, bring bring your left hand down you go like this from left to right and then from right to left of course, if it's too complicated for you, you can just do it like this in the same spot and then just practice a few times, up and down. Of course, you shouldn't practice with uh, alcohol right away, so I'm just gonna pour like, let's say, two ounces of uh, water, and you should do two. And we're gonna do it this way, just like I showed to you. The basic one, pour inside, and then bring it down. I'm bringing the left hand down, so this one, I don't even really raise uh, uh, my right hand. You see the technique? One. And you probably already can see the difference that it just looks so much better when I do a little movement. Uh, at the beginning you might spill just a little bit so just try to do as uh, precise as possible without a single spill. Now I'm gonna do the same with the large shaker. So it's exactly the same. You just uh, have full control, show that you enjoy and you move from left to right. You see like it's a little bit challenging of course it, to move shaker and then uh, pour liquid in it but you will just try for a few minutes and then it will look great. I will show to you a few variations, uh, super bartender transformations. <laughs> and first I want you to try this. So the same just like we did basic one, you see, and normally we go like this and then bring it here. And I want you to do like a little swipe through. So look, you finish throwing cocktail and it goes like this, one and bring it around. So you see the movement, Pum pum at the same time and move it from your left to right. So instead of just bring it like this, we do pour and then this is the movement. See how it looks. Pretty quick. Another variation would be to do it around your head. So just like you do cut here and then you just move it like this and pour. So pour cut four so just try a few times a little cut boom and then bring it here so you shouldn't look awkward at all it's just it's supposed to be like really smooth try a few times it's just like pretty much non-stop and you see like it would look even better if you constantly move like for example you start pouring here you know that you're gonna finish uh, pouring somewhere here and then you do it cut like this so you see just much much smoother this way one, two, pam, pam. What you can do, for example, once you finish pour, you can start pouring, but instead of just moving from left to right, 
you do full spin, like full rotation 360. So it looks like this. Whoop, boom. You see, one, two. And you combine now to do the whole thing like this around head. Palm. Palm. <laughs> and you do it for like three, five times to make sure that it's cold, but probably no more than four, six times. By far my favorite variation would be this one. If you know how to do like flip like this or around your uh, hand. So you finish pouring, you do like this and pour. So like this, pour, one, two, and then you combine all of them. You can even do it like this, which is a little bit harder. I wouldn't recommend, I prefer to do it this way just because there is less chances to spill. Now pour it into your drink. I'm going to make smoky Negroni and show to you everything from beginning to end. So, big thanks to Mad Lab Spirits for providing premium alcohol for our cocktail. I'm going to leave their Instagram in the description. Hope you guys can check them out. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to learn uh, this really cool technique uh, called a blue blazer which is really similar to this one except that you have to do it with fire and also please watch this video on uh, taste this how we made a uh, vodka tonic inside a bottle of vodka uh, just please give it a like because we actually uh, broke a few bottles before we made a perfect one like this and please guys subscribe so you will become in this uh, technique as good as Jerry Thomas so uh, hit the like button like this and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.